Module 10. In Module 10, we'll look at the analysis of variance, or ANOVA. So what, what is ANOVA? Well, we study the hypothesis testing for one population mean, uh, two population, comparing two population means. So we extend that to three or more population means in analysis of variance. So the null hypothesis will look like um, mu1 is equal to mu2 equal to mu3. And as you can probably imagine, the calculation are cumbersome and complicated, so we're going to use Excel to produce the ANOVA output. Uh, one key thing you to know is the underlying distribution, in this case, is the distribution, F distribution. So we, we used normal distribution and T distribution before, but for ANOVA, we're going to use the F distribution. So F distribution has the following characteristics. Um, F distribution is not symmetric. It is skewed to the right. The values of f cannot be zero or cannot be negative, so they're always zero or positive. And then you have a different f distribution, so the shape will be different for each pair of degrees of freedom for the numerator and the denominator. Uh, so what's this numerator and denominator? If you look at the required calculations, the f is S1 squared divided by S2 squared. So standard deviation 1 squared divided by standard deviation 2 squared. So the value of S1 and S2 be different for each pair of uh, degrees of freedom. And just like before, we're going to use the p-value method to figure out uh, whether we're going to reject or not reject the null. And that the alpha we're going to use is going to be either 0 0.05 or it will be given to you. Uh, there are two types of ANOVA, one-way and two-way, and for this class, we're going to study one-way ANOVA. Um, the way we use ANOVA is we wanted to determine whether there's any differences in three or more populations. So we compare three or more population means, and then we want to know if there's any differences. And we do so by analyzing the, interestingly enough, the sample variances. So we use the variances to figure out whether there's any differences in means. So this is why it's called analysis of variance. Um, so then the null hypothesis I mentioned is mu1 is equal to mu2 equal to mu3. And the process of determining whether to reject that or not is very similar to the hypothesis testing method we have studied so far. So just like before, we're going to use Excel to uh, perform a one-way ANOVA. One last thing you should know is from ANOVA, uh, we cannot conclude which particular mean is different from the other ones. So let's say you reject the null. So that means the that that means that mu one say mu one mu mu one and mu two mu three are not the same. But we cannot say which particular mean is different from the other ones. So that's the limitation of uh, ANOVA calculations. So let's go to spreadsheet and look at the example here. Say you're a golfer and you wanted to test the quality of different golf balls. You want to know which you want to pick the best long distance uh, golf ball. So unsurprisingly all brands claim better distance than the other ones so you gather the following data and see if you can reject the uh, reject the claim or reject the fact that they're all the same or there are some differences and we're going to test the claim at alpha is 0.05 so you collect the data brand a brand b distances and brand c distances and if you do the NOVA calculation in Excel, it spits out this table right here, this whole thing. Single factors, the summary, and here's a NOVA table. Here's the F value and then the P value. Since we're using the P value method, we're, go we're going to focus on the P value here. So 1.3 e to the negative 0 0.9, what does that mean? Well, this is a format is called a scientific notation. So if you look at over here, these are the equivalent to each other. So 1.3 e to the negative 09, it's the same as saying 0 0.00000013. So now the question is, is this p-value less than alpha? 
Well, it is. So that since the p-value is less than 0 0.5, we reject the claim that there's no difference in hidden distances from different brands. So we know that the dis his hidden distances are different from brand A, brand B, brand C, but we don't know how they're different. So that's the limitation of a NOMA analysis. You're not required to know how to produce this table, but if you're curious, curious here's how you do it. So if you're using Excel 2010 or above, go to the data tab and you should see the data analysis button here. If it's not there, you have to enable that. To do so, you should look up the help, Excel help. So click on it and pick single factor ANOVA, first choice. And it'll pop up this dialog box. So we're going to pick the input range to be the data here. And it's grouped by row, so row one, row two, row three. And there's a label in the first column. So click here, and then we're going to use alpha to be 0 0.05. I want to put this table underneath the whole thing. So let's go down and click on here. Press OK. Boom. The same table is reproduced. It's very easy to do a NOVA analysis. So now you know how to produce a NOVA table and read a NOVA table and come up with a conclusion.